Hi, this is Sean Weaver with Six String Country. And in this lesson, we'll be taking a look at, as far as I know with words, it's Danny Boy, and um, set to the tune of, of the Irish, well, the Irish tune, London Air. And as far as I know, the words were set to that tune by Frederick Weatherly. And, uh, but there was a Wikipedia search, so if it was something else, you know, that, that's what I've heard. Um, but anyhow, I heard Chet Atkins playing uh, London Arriere, and it's been done by a lot of folks, both instrumentally and, and the vocal. And um, I'm not going to really show you any one person's particular arrangement today. Other than I put this together, and I'll show it to you in several keys, um, starting out in A, and then modulating to C, and finishing things up in D. And there's a little bit in it, in each key, to kind of some varying skill levels. So if C is something you don't want to tackle, maybe just work on it in A, and maybe some combination. Maybe you like it in D, but don't want to play it in A, and, and so on and so forth. But I hope there's something in here of value to a wide range of, of players and, and folks. And with that in mind, we'll just get into the arrangement. It is in standard tuning. Nothing is altered or changed. No capo on the guitar. Just tune your guitar to completely standard tuning, E, A, D, G, B, E and we'll be in good shape to get started with the arrangement. So once your guitar is in tune, and this is just absolutely regular standard tuning, um, we're going to get started with the tune, and it's going to start out, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play the whole thing in A, and just to give you an overview of, of what to expect over these next several lessons, uh, we're going to go from A to C, and then end things in the key of D. And there's just an A section and a B section to the melody. There's 16 bar sections and so we'll be spending about 32 bars in each key and uh, you know then ending it with a tag and, and some other stuff. So uh, starting out in the key, you know you can still slide in there to the sixth fret because that's not really a stretch. And then reposition your hand in measure three and go open B string to second fret to second fret to open string to second fret again. So everything is localized right here in the second fret and between the open string. Okay, so right there, that gets you out of doing that if you don't want to make that stretch, okay? Um, and now we'll return to, to moving on in measure four, but um, this, you know, I'm, I, I wish there were a, there's not much you can really do. It, we're all set up now for the new key, uh, for the key of C. We've modulated through the G7 uh, harmony. Uh, now we are now comfortably into the new key, measure 33. And uh, although there were some some semi, you know, intermediate to advanced moves in the key of A, I, I'll just throw this out there as 
you know, this arrangement, I mean, in general, I've tried to do this with, with a number of these tunes. Um, they kind of go from a little more straightforward into some more, some more subtlety and complexity. So um, where at all possible, I'll keep giving you some variations, yeah, but just three. drop your wrist. And then your, your pinky will move back for the melody. Um, so it's pinky up there at the eighth fret, moving back to the seventh fret. And the arpeggio underneath is uh, fifth string, fourth string, third string, second string. And I move backwards to the third string. Uh, so it's at the very end. So one and two and three and four. So one and two and three and four. Okay. And then uh, I'm doing a really wide stretch there now because the melody is um, a B note and it's an F chord. And so I need uh, I need that in the bass, and I need those chord tones. Uh, now we're into the key of D, and uh, we get to start out with a really familiar straight-ahead chord, just the D, uh, D you learned out of Mel Bay, Volume One. So I'm gonna hammer on from the open string. I just like doing that. Um, and then the the motion starts. We're gonna go through the uh, D major seven on our way to D seven. Um, so we start here, and it's just fourth string and first string together, followed by the third and second strings in the right hand. And then arpeggiating, uh, but uh, you can flatten out the index finger to just get the second fret on the third and second strings. Yeah. This leads us up to the ending. And I just wanted to cover this separately because it. Maybe when you first see it, it, it looks intimidating, but there's really not a whole lot going on. It's just patterns descending. So here's the ending. Yeah, I, 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 I took this from Tommy Emanuel playing it. Um, but I don't know that I'm actually really doing everything exactly the same. Um, so what I'm doing is just the, uh, it's just a uh, descending, let me play it for you slowly first. You're already seeing a pattern. It's starting out with a D add nine shape. And now let's go ahead and play it at full tempo. 